Maganda po ang plano ng Panginoon sa, sa Pilipinas. Uh, we are very unique. Our skills, our talents, our... Um, ano ba yun? Yung... Even our stomach, our tongue. Yeah. We can eat anything. <laughs> And you know, Filipinos can learn many languages, right? So, talagang we are... You know, God has a great plan for Filipinos. Even the name, yung, yung name po ng bansa natin, yung, yung Philippines came from uh, Philip, uh, which is, hindi si Philip, Philip dyan sa Mora, pero Philip the Evangelist. Praise the Lord, palapakan po natin ulit ang Panginoon for waking us all up today and uh, dinala po tayo sa lugar na ito to be blessed by His words. Uh, I'm sure God, uh, even though po, Uh, yung aking uh, ishishare sa inyo today uh, will be uh, personal pagdating po sa inyo. Ang, ang Panginoon po natin is a, is a personal God. Sabi mo nga sa katabi mo, God is a personal God. So, uh, for probably around 40 minutes, hopefully, let's forget about anything, pati yung mga labahan natin, and let's focus on what God wants us to hear today. Amen? Let's pray. Father God, we just want to uh, entrust to you everything, lahat po ng aming, lahat po ng aking share today. I pray, Lord, Father God, that you anoint my lips and my my thoughts, Lord, even my heart, and especially po yung aking mga kapatid who are here right now. Bless and anoint their hearts, O oh Lord, that it will be like sponges na marisipo po yung words nyo, that it will also grow and bear put in, our, in their lives. And I pray, Lord, Father God, that you will use me as an empty vessel and let Jesus Christ increase in me, Father God, in Jesus' name. Maraming maraming salamat po, Panginoon. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. So, yung aking pong i-share to that to today is uh, very important. No? Uh, you know, there's, there's a great message for the Lord from the Lord today for, for all of us. And it's all about trust. Yeah. Trust. Ngayon word na trust eh, no? uh, what, what, do you, what do we understand about about trust? You know, trust is very important no in any relationship. Trust is very important in any dealings, di ba? Even sa workplaces natin, very important po yung yung trust. In fact, many uh, relationship gets broken or many relationship are being torn apart or marred because of trust trust issues sometimes no even if you have forgiven the person eh yung trust over time you know kailangan pang uh, i i ano tawag dito i i win back or ibalik or return it back to its original uh, status no let's not be mistaken between forgiveness and trust no we can we have to forgive You know, but trust, yan, inaano yan, over time. Then why, why, why uh, even our relationship with God, it will be very hard to move forward if we are not going to trust God. Yeah, relation, in, in a relationship, trust is very important. Yeah. As I mentioned, relationships will not flourish if there, are no, there is no trust. So even with God, why? Why trust is important? Because if we keep on doing this, not, trust, tr- not trusting God, we'll keep relying on ourselves. Amen? Yes. So we have to trust God in our relationships, in our dealings, in our decision makings, in every steps that we're going to take. And we'll not be able to experience the full power of God if, not, if we're not going to trust Him. Belief and trust are two different things. Many believe God, but not actually trusted that He can do immeasurably more that you can ever think of or imagine. I believed God even before I came here, but I just didn't trust Him that He can do things for me. 
Have you experienced that? You know, I said, oh, I believe God, but I still do my own thing. I prayed, Lord, please, please uh, uh, answer my prayer. Then afterwards, what do you do? You do your own stuff. Lord, please provide for me. I am in bad debt. Then after praying, you go to the bank and apply for a new, new credit card. So is that what you call trust in the Lord? Even now, I know many of us here read the words of God. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Many read the words of God. Amen. Wala bang, yeah. Amen. Quoting the words of God, but have we, really, have we really trusted on all the words of God that you have read and heard? So today, or having said this, today I just want to share yung title po ng ating preaching is How well do you trust the words of Jesus? Our anchor verse will be coming from John 4, verse 50. Sabi dito, Go, Jesus replied, your son will leave. The man took Jesus and his, at his words and departed. Ulitin ko po, John 4, 50, Go, Jesus replied, your son will leave. The man took Jesus at his word and departed. And our scripture reading will be coming from John 4, 43 to 54, which kasama po din yung ating anchor verse. So let's read. Samahan niyo po kung magbasa para hindi tayo masyadong tahimik. Baka makatulog kayo. 43. <laughs> After the two days, he left for Galilee. Now Jesus himself had pointed out that the prophet has no honor in his own country. When he arrived in Galilee, the Galileans welcomed him. They have seen all that he have done in Jerusalem at the Passover festival, for they also had been there. Once more he visited Cana in Galilee, where he had turned the water into wine. And there was a certain royal official whose son lay sick at Capernaum. When this man heard that Jesus had arrived in Galilee from Judea, he went to him and begged him to come and heal his son, who was close to death. Unless you people see signs and wonders, Jesus told him, you will never believe. The royal official said, Sir, come down before my child dies. Go, Jesus replied, your son will live. The man took Jesus at his word and departed. While he was still on the way, his servants met him with the news that his boy was living. When he inquired as to the time when his son got better, they said to him, Yesterday at one in the afternoon, the fever left him. Then the father realized that this was the exact time at which Jesus had said to him, Your son will live. So he and his whole household believed. This was the second sign Jesus performed after coming from Judea to Galilee. Now, a very powerful uh, miracle and the uh, Wonders that Jesus Christ have done uh, during that time. This official na yun. So powerful that in fact, he and the whole household believed. Diba? Aniwala sila sa, sa Panginoon. You know, there's so, many, there's so many learnings, lessons as we're going to learn about this. No? Hindi lang basta miracle na na-create. Uh, ang, ang Panginoon. Sabi nga po dun sa title natin, How well do we trust Jesus Christ? Or how do we tell, uh, how, we, how do, well do we trust the words of Jesus? Yeah. Napakasarap po palagi basahin ng, 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 uh, ng salita sa, sa Bible, especially in, sa, sa New Testament. Kasi mostly sa New Testament, it's all talking about love. Eh, no? Kaya mostly nag stick sa New Testament. Eh, no? Hindi na sila pumunta sa Old Testament kasi sa Old Testament. Raining rocks and sulfur. Uh, it's just scary. I na lang sa New Testament. But ito puro, oh, God loves you. Yes, Jesus loves you. So there's so many things to learn here about our trust in Jesus. As I mentioned earlier, most of us have read His words. You know, probably most of us already here have read the book of uh, uh, the, the Bible from cover to cover. But how well do we trust the words of Jesus? There's one story here that tells us you know, about the official son. 
No? That when, when, when we come to know that Jesus Christ, actually this came after yung, yung Samaritan woman uh, seen that. No? So after two days, he left that place and went to, to Galilee. Okay? Yung Galilee is a place where he did his first uh, miracle. No? He turned the uh, water into wine. So, from that point of time, this is the time na talagang kalat na kalat na kalat na talaga yung 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 fame ni Jesus Christ because you know word of mouth you know sa mga liblib na lugar or sa mga nung unang panahon di ba they pass news by by words of mouth probably it takes months kasi hindi pa usong FB no, no but I'm sure already he's popular in that place kaya when this official comes to know that Jesus Christ is in the house or in, in Galilee, eh, he went to him because he has a problem. His son is going to die. So he went to him actually begging Jesus, telling, calm down, you know. Na, siguro nasa taas si Jesus, come down, come, come to me or come with me and heal my, my son. But Jesus Christ didn't went, just go. Uh, just go. And he believed because he departed. Actually, meron akong wisdom na, na, na pick up dito eh, no? Be- before. No? Even, even, even us now, no? as believers, sometimes uh, we, we also uh, have not believed yet talaga na God can answer prayers. Eh, no? Because sometimes we ask somebody, Come, please pray for me. Yeah. Come, please bless my house. No? Oh, by the way, I'm not saying na wag niyo akong tawagin or si Papi or all the pastors here to come in and uh, do blessings or ano yun, dedications uh, or pray for you. Yes, we are all, we are really blessed and um, anong tawag dito? Honored whenever you ask us to pray for you, to dedicate your dog Dedicate your house, dedicate your car. No, but it shouldn't stop us no, from, you know, you yourself from praying to God directly, from declaring blessing in your own house. That's why when I do dedications a house, I just tell them, na, yes, we can do dedication, but how about you? You yourself uh, staying in the house. Baka pagkatapos namin mag-dedicate ng gabi, ay ng, umag- ng tanghali, Mayamay ang gabi, nag-iinuman na kayo doon sa, uh, sa plat yun. Uh, so, what's the use? So, I, I, I just had that wisdom na, you know, sometimes we are also like that, you eh, know? Of course, dito, iba, ibang klase, ibang level si Jesus, eh. Uh, we really have to go to Jesus. But I felt the same, you no? Know, that sometimes we have to go to someone and beg or ask or, no, please pray for me. But actually, you, as a son of God, has that power and authority also. To declare blessings. Yeah. Amen? So, this official son is there to, to ask God to come to him and, you know, bless his son because he's close to death. Mamamatay na yung anak niya. He's close to death. But through the words of God, he just say, go, and your son will live. And the good thing of this official, what we have, de- what we have done, is he believed and left the place and went home. Medyo malayo yung home, no? Kasi next day pa eh. No, hindi ko alam, siguro mga, mga ano yan, ko, baka sa Dubai nakatira yan. Eh wala pa naman nung mabibilis na car. So it, it really took time for him to go home. So it's really far from that place. So, uh, but the good thing is, the boy lived. No? But how about us? Have, have we experienced that in our lives? You know, asking God for something and then getting the blessing because we have trusted God. But we saw one thing here also about, you know, all of us, this official son, when Jesus blurted out that you need to, sabi niya rito, unless you people see signs and wonders, you will never believe. Because that official really wants to bring Jesus Christ to the Son. Gusto niya makitang nilelehan siguro ni Jesus Christ yung Son. Eh, no? You know, 
uh, Jesus Christ showed us so many ways of doing His miracles. No? Sometimes He's there. Sometimes He, he took this, uh, ano yun, yung putik soil and put it in the, nag-spit pa siya, nilagyan niya doon sa mata. You know, He, he wants to show, you know, yung, 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 uh, and teaches us on different ways of dealing. Pakikipag-deal niya sa atin. So, so this was the second sign Jesus performed after coming from Judea to, to Galilee. So, nagtrust yung, yung, yung royal official kay Jesus that he can do uh, the miracle of healing his son. So, as I mentioned sa atin then, how do we trust the words of God? How do we really trust Him? No, napakadaming promises sa Bible. No? If you read from cover to cover, there's so many promises, there's so many blessings from the Lord. Pumunta kayo doon sa Deuteronomy, makita niyo yung, uh, yung blessings doon. There's so many blessings from the Lord, but did, did, we, did we really trusted Him? That yes, God, you will do this for me. That yes, God, you will answer my prayers. That yes, God, I will have a, a son, I will have a, a daughter, I will have a child. That yes, son, you will provide, yes, God, you will provide healing to my family. Yes, God, that you will pull me out from this uh, very bad, very bad situation. So how do we really trust the Word of God? And God is telling us right now, through this story, that we need to trust God. That He can do uh, all of these things. No? That is a really, kailangan talagang ano, napakadaming ceremony. Sabi niya, go lang. Go because he's he's very powerful. He's the Son of God. He's God. And the good thing is, especially right now, we're very blessed. Kasi nandun si Jesus eh. We have a mediator in heaven. Kaya nga di ba, when we pray, we pray in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray in the name of Jesus. So God is telling us right now, trust in Him. Now, the good question is, how do we trust God? <laughs> Paano ba yun? Tingnan mo na, napaka, napaka gamit na words. Gamit na word ang trust. But how do we really trust God? Diba? Pag may naliligaw sa'yo, di ba? Paano ko kaya itatrust itong taong to? Especially sa mga OFW, di ba? Yung mga, mga babae, minsan, and, and dami niya, especially, there's so many uh, ladies, especially in Saudi Arabia, when we were in Saudi Arabia, na naluloko. Binata daw, di ba? Binata. Wala pa, hindi pa uso sa inyong marnon. Binata daw. Daw pala. When, and, yung, <laughs> yung Philippine Embassy in Saudi Arabia, there's also a problem. Sometimes they release marriage contracts without really checking. Alam mo yun? Under. So this guy will buy a marriage contract and, you know, kasal na sila. Only to find out that the, the guy has family in, in the Philippines. Dalawa, tatlo pa. So how, how you learn about trusting, di ba? So ngayon, pumasok na yung senumar. <laughs> ah, sige, pag may senumar ka, then saka kamandigaw sa akin. So how do we trust or how do we learn to trust in Jesus? Meron po akong hinandang uh, acronym. Yeah. Mana tayo kay Papi. Ah, hindi sa Enumar, masyado mahaba yan. <laughs> How do you learn to trust in Jesus? <laughs> First, letter T, teach yourself the ways of the Lord. Turuan po natin yung sarili natin ng pamamaraan ng Panginoon. You know, sometimes, you know, we just, oh, bala na mga pastors dyan, bala sila magturo sa akin. Uh, my life lesson facilitator will take care of me. Oh, every time that I come to the life lesson meeting, oh, it's Friday again, I'll hear the words of God. Ah, yan, oh, John 4 ngayon ang ating, oh, I, what, eh, puro dyan lang yung pinipreach natin, hindi niya nabasa yung ibang, ano, ibang chapter sa Bible. Ah, a life lesson. Uh, I will be discussing today uh, about um, acts. Uh, 
So teach yourself the way of the Lord. You need to learn about God. You need to learn about character. And what is the first step of knowing the ways of the Lord? Read these words. Yun po yung unang una. Yes, we will not be able to know about God if we don't really seek Him through His words. So we need to, to know Him in His words. To know Him in the Bible. And next step is to obey the very words that we have read from the Bible. Kasi yung iba, we stop in reading. Actually, I know so many people in the Philippines, uh, so many uh, personalities who are really well-versed in the Bible. Ang galing. You know, basa kapatid. Uh, sa ulo niya yan. Di ba? But have he really obeyed uh, the very words that he was uh, reading or na-memorize niya na or uh, nalaman niya na? So our way should already be the way of the Lord. Every decision, every uh, step that we're going to take is not based anymore on our own understanding. Every minor, major decision, we have to ask God. Yeah. We have to ask God. Hindi, okay lang yan, Lord. Akin na to. Okay na to. Uh, this is already mine. Major na lang yung sa'yo. No. Each and every decision. Kaya nga, teach, teach yourself the ways of the Lord. You know, as I mentioned earlier, there's so many promises in the Bible. Commands, sins that we should avoid. Nakasulat po lahat yan sa Bible. But so many believers does not know about that. Why? Because hindi nga po binabasa yung Bible. Then what happens? We rely on our own understanding of what is right and what is wrong. Thereby, we fail. Why? Kasi po yung understanding natin ng right and wrong is dependent on our experiences. All right. So we really need to go back to the Bible so that we don't rely on our understanding, we don't rely on our traditions, we rely on the Word of God. And you will be able to know who God is, who are the people in the Bible na napwede natin, ah, si ano pala? Uh, ah, si Peter pala. He rejected God, but he was restored. Pwede rin pala akong i-restore ni God. I can be also restored by God. You need, to, you need to, to, to read the words. So that pag sinabing nagkakakwentuhan yung mga kalayplesa mo, Uy, alam mo ba si Jacob? Sino si Jacob? <laughs> Talagang nga si Jacob. Kapatid niya. Ah, hindi. I remember my colleague. He named his son Jacob. Catholic siya from, from India. So, we had a small chat. Uh, sabi ko, wow, you know, you name your son Jacob, huh? Do you know who Jacob is? Ay, who? Who is Jacob? Your son. Do you know the name Jacob is very, very uh, important and, you know, very popular to ask Christians? Why is that? Where did you get that? In the Bible. Do you know that Jacob is the patriarch of Israel? And his name uh, was changed to Israel. And he was the father of the 12 tribes of Israel. Ah, ah he's saying like that to me. Ah, so, that's Jacob, huh? <laughs> you know? Di ba? Parang hindi left out sa kwentuhan, di ba? Wow, kilala ko si Jacob, di ba? <laughs> I remember also Pashila's, uh, yung uh, shinier niya sa amin last, last Sunday. Even the, the same people who who uh, were descendants of uh, of the 12 tribes of Israel they don't know Joshua di ba kasi they came from Israel eh, no? so yung mga tour guides daw doon from Israel also so they are uh, Jews so they forget already who Joshua is <laughs> they will not be there actually if not for for Joshua di ba because he's the one who crossed over the Jordan River to conquer the promised land for God. Amen? So, teach yourself the ways of the Lord. So the very first step is to know about the, the, the ways of the Lord. And where do you get that? 
You get that from the Bible. That's why sabi sa Joshua 1.8, um, keep this book of the law always on your lips. Meditate on it day and night so that you may be careful to do everything written in it. Then you will be prosperous and successful. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. So may promise po. No, when, when you keep the word of the law in your lips and you obey, sabi dito. Be careful to do. Diba? Obe- obedience yun, diba? Be careful to do everything written in it. You will be prosperous and successful. So teach your ways. Teach yourself the ways of the Lord. Next po, remember that blessings or blessing or blessings comes after obedience. You know, we tend to forget that we need to obey first God's commands before we can fully receive the blessings from God. We ask God for so many things. Lord, give me this, give me that. Give me a good life. Uh, make me a uh, give me promotion and increases. Give me a partner in life. Uh, give me a new house. I want a farm. I request, you know. Big salary. One bedroom flat. We ask so many things, and when it's not given, we lose our trust in God. Why? Uh, you ask yourself, bakit kaya hindi pa binibigay ng Lord yung aking hinihiling? And then, <laughs> unti-unti, unti-unti, you lose trust from the Lord. But forgetting that there's a formula, if I may say, laid down in the Bible, that we should Obey God before we get that blessings from the Lord. Amen? Sabihin nyo nga, obedience. obedience. Sabihin mo sa katabi mo, obedience. obedience. Sabihin mo sa, katabi, sa sarili mo, obedience. obedience. Amen? <laughs> Pakapakan po natin ng Lord. So we ask so many things, but the question, did we really obey Him? Have we followed all His instructions, even the message that God sent through His leaders, your leader, have you obeyed? You go to that person asking for counseling, asking to, to, to give you some uh, advice, but you don't even obey also the advice, you just want someone to, to listen to you. You know, we should always remember that God answers prayers through the matters of our hearts. Through the matters of our hearts. Sabi nga po sa James 5.16, the prayer of a righteous person is powerful and effective. You know, I still remember when I started here in, in the UAE. Uh, I, did, I, I started with the, with, the, with the company that yung maraming problema. Talagang hindi nagpapasweldo. Uh, we have so many government projects, but I don't know, I don't understand why still they don't give salary on time. In fact, I get my salary every, every three months, and I get only one, one month salary. And I have my family here. I have, Pastor Shane is not working, and I have a, a son who was, was studying also at that time. So, why I'm sharing this, by the way, nakita ko pala yung boss ko yesterday. You know, that same person, that same boss that I worked with uh, in 2008, uh, my first company, he's the same person who helped me. Actually, he took me from Saudi Arabia and he promised me that he will bring me here in the UAE. But it took us six months to, to come to UAE because not knowing that there's already a problem in that company. So when I came, but he said to me, don't worry, I'll take care of you. He's a Jordanian. And he said, whatever happens, I'll give you work here in the UAE, even in the company that I were in or even in another company. But I'll bring you. So he was, I was able to come. He was my IT manager. Yes, uh, when the company was having problems, he's the one who helped me to move to another company. He gave me recommendation. 
And he even vouched for my passport. Because before, it's not easy to move to another company. Right? They will send you directly to the airport. So that guy, he vouched for my passport so that I can take it out and have a new residence visa with a new company. And he gave me so many recommendations on that uh, new company. So I saw him yesterday. Actually, he's working now in, the sa in my same company, but as a consultant for another project. But I endorsed my, my job to him yesterday because I'm going for vacation for one month. But I was very happy to see him. And then it flashed back all we went through before, you know, not getting salary on time, uh, not knowing where to get food or even uh, groceries. Uh, you know, remembering how my landlord, who is a Syrian, telling me, don't pay your, don't pay your uh, rent for now. If, when you have money, you pay. Uh, you pay the money. And he doesn't know my situation. I don't know. He just came to me and tells me, you know, I don't know. You have a problem with money? I said, why? If you don't, if you don't have money, don't pay now. huh? It's okay. And there, then his wife, who is Filipina, hmm, saying, well, no pay? <laughs> Filipina pa malupit eh. <laughs> hmm, no pay? Ay, hindi siya makapalag eh. Syrian eh. How God works on, on, on people, no? regardless of the religion, no? regardless of the faith. God can touch anyone. Ibi mo sa katabi mo. Yung boss mo, kahit pa M yan. Kaya touch ng Lord yan, pag-pray nyo lang. So I remember that, you know, that time, the trying times that we had as a family. But what I vividly remember is this one. I remember that I'll just obey and I'm sure blessings will come to them. Ano yung obey? Ano ba yung ginawa ko? I continue to serve the Lord, and I, ch I continue to allow Him to change my life. Kaya ang naging anchor verse namin noon, laging Matthew 6.33, Seek ye first the kingdom of God, and all His righteousness, and everything shall be added unto you. So hinawakan ko lang yun. And blessings came. But wait. Blessings? Is it financial blessings? Yes, because nagkakasel na ako every month. On time, ha? Kalakpa ka na yung Lord. <laughs> On time. Blessing yun, right? Kaya pag dumarating ngayon ang salary ko for the past uh, ilan may years, 11 years, pag tunog pa lang ng SMS ng, ng ano ko, talagang, Lord, maraming maraming salamat, Lord, for this blessing. Every time. Every time. Kayo ba, pag dumating sa, sa account nyo yung sweldo nyo, ay, bayarin na naman. <laughs> o wala na dumarating. Kasi nakaltas na lahat. But we have to, we have to thank God. Amen? Basta dumating sa inyo yun. Actually, even before pa dumating, oh, 25 na. Lord, thank you, Lord. <laughs> because I experienced not receiving it for three months. I'm sure some, some of us here can, can relate, di ba? <laughs> but wait, sabi nga, what, what is really blessing? What is blessing talaga? Ayan ba yung, because you have, you have money, you have a, a car, you have a flat now, you know, for me, yes, it is a great blessing to have a stable job, high salary, or being able to travel. Parang uh, manakikita ko, dami niya travel. I have learned from my my uh, uh, company experience at that time that it was not just a new job that I was blessed with. Hindi lang pa po yung bagong trabaho na ako yung blessed, but more importantly, I was blessed with a church family. To be able to meet great people like you. And thanking God for your lives. Because, alam nyo, nakakabless ang mga buhay ng bawat isa. Right? We are different. Though we are all 
children of God, but we have unique differences. And we learn from that. Lalo na yung mga obedient. Nakaka-bless po yung mga obedient. A privilege, opportunity also to grow in maturity in my faith. I'm really blessed, hindi lamang po dahil nagkaroon ako ng magandang trabaho after my experience, but I'm really blessed because of my church family. I'm really blessed because of my spiritual parents dito. Si Papi at saka si Ma'am Shee. I'm really blessed because of my co-workers here. Making my, my walk with God eh, napakasarap po. Diba? Yung bang inaano mo lagi yung Friday life lesson family meetings na dumating. So remember that blessing comes after God, uh, after obedience. Deuteronomy 28.2 says, All these blessings will come on you and accompany you if you obey the Lord your God. Second po, you unlearn what you learn from the world. And learn what you learn from the world. Do you know that so many professional drivers from the Philippines coming here in the UAE failing their driver's test? Why? Kasi hindi implement nila yung natutunan nila sa Pilipinas. Yeah? Walang side mirror. Diba? Sa Pilipinas, kahit wag mo nang lagyan ng side mirror, eh. okay lang eh. Diba? Hindi ka wala ng walang ang walang side mirror. Tatakbo pa rin siya. Tanggalin mo yung rear view mirror, okay rin lang. Walang problema. Pagdating dito, bagsak. These are drivers, you know, driving maybe 20 years in the Philippines. Why? Because they implement what they know and what through their experiences. But the problem is their experiences were wrong. Right? Mali. Dito ko alam na lamang, gagalaw pala dapat yung ulo mo eh. Para makita ng pulis. The world taught us so many things. Marami pong itinuro yung world sa atin. If you're already 40 years old, kailan ka nagkaisip? 3 years old, let's say. So 37 years, if you have not yet believed, uh, received Jesus Christ in your life, that the world is teaching you. Many things. And one of that is seeing, is believing. Everything has to have a proof para sa inyo maniwala. But this is not the way of God. He wants us to believe first and then we will see. Saka po natin makikita yung, yung kanyang sinasabi. But the world to- taught us that there should always be proof, logic in everything. Kaya nga may Scientology, na, ano, kasi kailangan... Uh, ganito yung kalalabasan para lahat kailangan may proof. But sometimes, faith and logic doesn't mix. Most of the time, we cannot explain many things that came from God. You know, the time that we were uh, not having anything because I'm not getting my, my salary, you know, napakadami, yung time na nagbigatan kami. Kasi busog na busog kami sa pagkain. May mo, Iranian rice, dumarating sa bahay mo, isang ganito kalaking bandihado. I have sack of, uh, of uh, frozen fishes that came from the palace, from that Syrian galley that I'm talking about. Dinadala niya kami. Lahat ng luto ng itlog. Fried, boiled, scrambled, sunny side up. Pumili ka, dadali niya sa'yo. Pati kangkong. Hindi ko nga alam lang kung saan kang kong nagagaling. Baka na sa gilid-gilid yun ang kanal eh. But, you know, I, I, we cannot explain. Lord, bakit? Yung, yung power mo, pinakita mo sa amin. No? You know, people are blessing us. You know, wala ka lang talagang grocery. No? Wala sabon, ganyan. But, you know, food, talagang hindi ka mawawala ng food. We cannot explain that. Pero hindi makami kami umabot sa asin yung toothpaste. <laughs> no, but, what I'm trying to say is, you know, there's some things or many things that cannot be explained. Yung Syrian guy nga eh. Lord, talaga? Can't explain. Why this guy is, you know, good to me? I don't know him. I just went uh, to his house for, you know, renting a room. 
then come up to you and say, you have problem with, your, with money? Buti na lang, hindi ako opportunista. Yes, you have. Most of the time, we can explain many things that came from God. You personally can, you know, uh, if, if you have experience with God, you can say that. You know, even the Bible tells us about this, peace that transcends all the I mean, peace that transcends all the understanding. Nagkakagulo na dyan lahat. Ikaw, eh. Peaceful. Para yung mga hindi na nga sumusweldo, but you still have the peace in your heart. Feeding the, the 5,000. Diba? Where's the logic in that? You know, parting of the Red Sea. Actually, yan, ginagawan ngayon yan ng ano, di ba? Documentary. Oh, okay. Because during that time, the southwest monsoon was, uh, ah, mga ganun, you know? And this one, what we're, 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 we're talking about now, the official sun, healing. It's unexplainable. So how about you? Are there any events in your life that you can really say, I don't have any explanation with that? And I'm sure you will have. Romans 12.2 says, Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is. His good, pleasing, and perfect will. We need to unlearn that. Tanggalin nyo na po yung tinuro sa inyo ng world and um, let God teach you. Letter S, spiritual markers. Let's not our ano being spiritual markers. You know, whenever you have experience with God, uh, uh, dealings of the Lord with you, you have to keep that as your spiritual markers. You know, let's let's be like uh, let's be like the Israelites. You know, they're very um, religious in putting memorials and mementos. For what? So that they'll always remember. Kasi forgetful nga tayo, you know? Even them, they're forgetful. So, we always remember the goodness of God in our lives. So, let's not forget our spiritual markers. This will make our trust built over time. Doon so, nabibuild yung trust natin kasi naalala mo pala, uy, ganito pa, ganun din ginawa sa akin ng Lord. Uh, in-answer niya yung prayer ko, ginigyan niya ako ng, uh, ginawa niya ako leader, for example, for God. I was able now to minister to so many people. Until you can really say to the Lord, ah, God was able to pull out, uh, pull me out from this situation before He can do it again. Kung tinanggal ka niya or niligtas ka niya sa situation na yan, He can do it again. God can do it again. So let's make a chronicle of your experiences with God. Kaya nga merong mga gumagawa nung ano eh, di ba? Yung prayer... Uh, prayer prayer notebook. So, kada man, sir, yung prayer mo, nagsusulat sila doon. Do you do that? But if not, then go back and meditate on what God has done for you in your life. As I mentioned earlier, like the Israelites, they like to put memorial so that they can always remember what God has done for, for them. But even though they still forget, no? So very important po yung we put yung, uh, yung ating, and don't forget your, your spiritual markers. I myself, my spiritual markers, I always go back on that. Through times of trouble, I go, I go back. In, in fact, even the way we, we, we conduct ourselves, if you go back there, eh, you will be reminded how, God, how good God is in your life. You know, even when you start ranting about your, your job, your, your, for example, your current job, go back and see how God blessed you with that job. Yeah, I mean, some we forget that, eh, that you were blessed with that job before you're asking, Lord, give me a job. Three years na, ay, three months na akong, ano, walang work, mag expire na naman yung visa ko. Mag, mag exit na naman ako sa sa Sharjah. Sharjah na ngayon. Hindi <laughs> nakish. Mag-exit na naman ako sa Sharjah. When you get that job and it becomes hard, 
Dito yung hirap naman ng trabaho to. Lord, tanggalin mo na ako dito. Tanggal ka na naman, di ba? Reklamo ka na naman. Cycle na naman yun, di ba? So, always remember, and you know what? When I remember that experience that I had with the Lord, I become more and more grateful to God. Instead of, you know, just ranting about, about my job. Psalm 77, 11 to 12 says, I will remember the deeds of the Lord. Yes, I will remember your miracles of long ago. I will consider all your works and meditate on all your mighty deeds. Sarap po basahin itong psalm na to. I will remember the deeds of the Lord. Yes, I will remember your miracles of long ago. I will consider all your works and meditate on all your mighty deeds. Gawin niyo po yan sa inyong sarili. Do that for yourself. Go back and remember what God has done for you. If you cannot put it in the tablets of your heart, put it in the tablet of your tab. At isave niyo po. So that you can go back and remember what God has done for you. We are being reminded because we tend to forget. When life goes well and everything becomes good, ah, di ba? Kukuya, kuya, kuya, ka na lang dyan. Oh, nice. Yeah. <laughs> Ako nagkakarakti. <laughs> ah. So spiritual markers, very important. We are now with, the, with God. We all have to remember what God has done for us. Finally, thank God dapat dyan. Sorry. Thank God. Having a grateful God, Having a grateful heart keeps us from being ano yun, arrogant. And we are not arrogant, we, become, we are being humble no? with humility. And when you have humility, you will be able to trust God. Matatrust po natin ang Panginoon when we have humility. Keeping in mind that all comes from God and not just from ourselves. Keeps us reminded that it is God that should we should only trust. That we should only trust. And it keeps our egos at bay. Uh, yung self-importance. Oh, kaya kung gawin lahat, I can do everything. I don't need God, minsan na nangyayari. So, having a thankful heart, you know, trains you to be, to be grateful in everything. And when you're grateful in everything, nagkakaroon po tayo ng trust sa Panginoon that He will be able to do everything for us. So have a, thank, so have a thankful heart. Maging mapagpasalamat po tayo. Again, magkadugtong po yung sinasabi ko kanina. When we have a grateful heart, we'll, we'll be able to you know, go back and see ano ba yung ginawa ng Panginoon sa atin. Sometimes also, we thank God only in our good situations. But when it's bad, we stop thanking God, forgetting that you are still breathing. Psalms, Psalms 107 one says, Give thanks to the Lord for He is good. His love endures forever. And when you have humility, you know that you cannot do anything sa sarili mo, but you need God. And when you do that, you put your trust in the Lord. By the way, I'm not saying that we don't have our talents, you know, and uh, abilities. We have because we are children of God. We are created in the image and likeness of God. Yeah. Though iba-iba yung kulay natin, iba-iba yung uh, faces natin, we are created in the image and likeness of God. Kaya walang pangit. There's no color. If you're dark, it's okay. Sabi mo sa mo, okay lang yan. Alam mo, bless yung color natin. Ha? Kasi, ano tayo? Um, sa gitna, yan. 
And at the same time, we are we are not prone to ano to skin cancer. Kasi mas ano yung ano, di, di ko alam yung pangalan nun basta melanin yan. So have a grateful heart. So ulitin ko po, first we need to teach yourself the ways of the Lord. Remember that blessings comes after obedience and learn what you have learned from the world, spiritual markers, and thank God. And the thank God is Friday. Thank God every day. In closing, God wants us to trust Him more than any of our circumstances. Yun ang gusto niya. Like children, di ba may mga iba rito, may mga children, your children nakakling sa inyo. No? Parang, Mommy, Daddy, lagi na lang gano'n. But I'm sure, in the, in, the, in, the, in the years of God, parang ano yan, uh, napakasarap pakinggan. Kayo rin, di ba? Yung mga anak nyo, pag gumaing isa, <laughs> pagod ako. Hindi, di ba? Oh, anong kailangan mo? What do you need? God wants us to trust Him more than our circumstances. Read this word and find out the promises of God for you. Hang on it. This is your lifeline. Always remember, oops, sorry. Always remember that blessing comes after obedience. Blessing comes after obedience. And without trusting His words, you will not experience the power of God. You will not experience the power of God. You need to trust in the words of God. Even yung sinasabi mo, in Jesus' name. Did you really trust it, yung word na in Jesus' name? Lumayas ka in Jesus' name. Tapos nakita ko nung pinalayas mo, Brad! Choka rin pala kayo nung pinalayas mo na bad spirit. No? Sabi sa'yo nung ano, diba, may nag- Punta ka doon, diba? Tapang mo ba eh, no? In Jesus' name, lumayas ka! Hindi ka naman pala naniniwala, diba? Parang pakita ka lang. Kita lang tayo kagabi, ginaganyan mo na ako. Tawagan kita. So we need to believe and trust in His words, okay? You will not experience the word of, the power of God. And challenge po ng Panginoon sa atin today, trust His, trust his words and not the world. Trust His word. You know, in the world will offer you so many things. Napakadami pong, napakadaling, napakasarap gawin in the world. But trust His words and not the world. Read, believe, and trust. Ulitid po natin. Read, believe, and trust. And ang ating pong memory verse for today, trust in the Lord with all of your heart. And lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, submit to Him and He will make your path straight. Proverbs 3, 5 to 6. Amen. Palakpakan po natin ang Lord. We're blessed today. We will be double blessed pag sinunod po natin yung ating napakinggan. Praise the Lord po.